Wednesday greetings one and all, the Quincy High girls golf team entered the 2A Decatur Regional undefeated and added a few exclamation points to that cause today. Pick it up right here, number five player Anya Nanjapa, huge today with a 93, saving bogey on number one. Difficult hole as they were playing from the golds today into the wind. No problem for Paige Kane who got on in two, set herself up for a par putt right here and promptly converted that as part of a round of 88 today. She was third among the Blue Devil players. The link issue you would have thought would have hurt Saya Geisendorfer more than anyone. No such problems for Saya, who channeled her inner Corey Pavin, fired 81 today. Nice approach there. Story of the day, though, Lacey Novacell on the second. Her second shot found the greenside bunker on the par five. What a magnificent up and down for Birdie. Are you kidding me? As part of a round of 77 today, as the Blue Devils blow away the field, 339. Springfield, your next closest team at 363. And Quincy High School punches its ticket next week to Champaign for the sectional on Tuesday at the University of Illinois course. Class 1A regional play now from Gold Hills as the host Lady Bombers do their thing today, looking to book passage to the sectional at Rock Falls, led by Lane Torrance here to start her second nine. She jump starts it with a long birdie putt here as part of a round of 77. Lane good for second place individually with a 77 as part of a tie. Ellen Meixner doing good work here on number 11 to save par. She fired an 84 on the day, your shot of the day though. Lily Vardaman on number 13 after rolling her first birdie putt off the back of the green. This is how she saves par in magnificent fashion as part of a round of 83. The Bombers with 339 as a team good for second place behind Peoria Notre Dame, which fired a 337. In Class 1A regional action at Westview, Quincy Notre Dame wins its first regional title since 2012 with a 354 today. Brown County will also advance to the sectional as the second place team finisher with a 390 and head off to the rail in Springfield next Tuesday. Your medalist in the affair was Route Catholic superstar Addie Dobson, the only player in the field to break 80 with a 75. Hannah Knuffman led Quincy Notre Dame with an 80, although Blair F. Tink and Abby Schreck also crawl their way into the top five in scoring. Individual advancers include Annika Eby of Rushville Industry, McKenna Baptist of Route Catholic, and Shannon O'Neill of We've got District Team Tennis semifinal action at Palmyra tonight versus Father Tolton, the winner to get Mexico on Thursday. Number one singles, Palmyra's Katie Rindham Farcourt battling Meg Duncan in a classic, taking this point but ultimately losing in three sets. Better action for Palmyra at number two singles as Maura Gottman rallies back big time to win after trailing early 7-6-6-2 magnificent exchange won by her here but ultimately everything boils down to number five singles where Bianca Perkins plays the hero winning 3-6-6-2-6-4 to give Palmyra the ultimate 5-4 win and keep the Lady Panther season alive. In high school softball tonight from Titletown, this is Carly Youngblood from Monroe City greeting the Clopton Lady Hawks in Ricky Henderson style fashion. Lead off home run in the bottom of the first to set the tone for a four run uprise. Riley Quinn would add an RBI single. Emily Friedank follows suit with an RBI rip of her own and it's four nothing before you could blink. And that is a huge lead to stake to Riley Quinn who ends up with a strikeout here to end the second. Friedank back up to her old tricks in the bottom of that frame with a two run RBI hitter and it was all Monroe City in this game tonight. Also in cross country news today, a split today between Quincy High School and Moline out at Bob Mays Park. The Quincy girls end up beating Moline 23 to 33. Anna Schuring is your medalist in a time of 1909. Ficker Rosen was the medalist in the boys meet, but the Blue Devils ended up losing that one 26 to 33. With your look at Wednesday sports, I'm Chris Dewar.